Are you tired of juggling a million apps, wading through data, and trying to learn the secret code just to get started with Agentic AI, and that too with Google? So stop here now. This is the video you should watch out for for next few minutes to get started on the much-awaited Gemini business. The part of the same product family, Gemini Enterprise, and the bottom line and theme line is simple. Whether you are an enterprise or a small company or a SMB or even an individual, you want to get started with the Agentic AI, on Google, then you have to look no further beyond Gemini business or small business or a team, whatever you might have, this is your central nervous system. It connects all the third party data so that you can ground them and make Google search on your enterprise data and automate complex multi-step workflows across the entire business. And the best part is you don't need to have a Google Cloud Console login just with your email, LDAP, or even your third party email IDs, you can log in and get started. And it is super easy to set up fast and truly understands your own context. So if you have not met me, my name is Pritham. This is my channel. I talk about AI and regarding my credentials, do have a detailed look in my description. And also I happen to give a TED talk on the earlier version of Gemini Enterprise that was called Agent Space. And also I wrote a book on demystifying generative AI for everyday people. So let's dive in. So it. If you look at Gemini Enterprise, uh, of course, we're talking about Gemini business, the starter edition. I will talk about the product family options in Gemini Enterprise. It is based on the six key pillars. Gemini Enterprise is about bringing the best of Google AI to every employee, every workflow in their context. So what it means is basically it is based on six core components. The brains, which you see, the brains is the best of Google state of the art. AI models like generative AI large language models, whether you are talking about Gemini 2.5 Pro, Flash, VO, Nano Banana, and all those options, the state of art models from Google and DeepMinds, it comes as a single platform for you behind the scenes. You don't have to juggle around and search and move across the models. Just one platform and you get access to all the world class models. The workbench, the second factor. It talks about how to get started in building the agents. And it talks about the orchestration layer behind the agents. So if you are coming from a diverse background, whether you are a marketeer, sales, or a business guy, and when you want to get started in building agents, this is the platform where you can get started with simple, natural language. The way you communicate in English, similarly, you have to define the prompts and give instructions to the agent to build that agent so that you can get started easily. We'll see that in a demo. The task force. So it is about getting access to Google's world class agents. And Google gives you by default a lot of agents, like pre made agents. We call it like deep research that is there, idea generation, and few others are coming up, like data insights, coding agent, and all those things are built directly inside the platform. The best part, it gives you access to the plethora of options you have from Google's strong partner ecosystem. So one stop shop. A single console, you get access to all the agents, whether you have built it yourself or pre-made agents or by third party agents, single console to access. And the best part is about this. This is the context. If Google search was for the public Internet data, this search brings you the context and personalization for your enterprise data. So you more about the user's journey, how the way the user is interacting with the data, what layer of apps the user has got access to the data. Everything is contextualized right from the grounds up. And it covers end-to-end -end security. And uh, who else can better understand from Google, uh, who is a leading pioneer in this space, has been designing world-class consumer apps, as well as other applications giving the best of governance and security, right? And they have a strong partner ecosystem where they can get started and give you the access to not only Google's own built engine or your own agent, plus thousands of agents which are coming soon from different across the world from different platforms and the value you are getting from this the starter edition call it gemini business is get answers to your data just upload the data the files connect your applications which you have access as per the roles and responsibilities in your company or if you are an individual if you have access to drive microsoft emails outlook or of the business applications you can get that. And the best part, it is very easy to set up and get started. That this was a quick introduction to Gemini business, right? That is the core intent of this video. And let's see, once you 
hit the url of gemini business you should launch in it will ask you to sign up something like this once you sign up it will give you options to get you start and you can start with your gmail ids as well right so here it's i'm a single sign up as i said lone individual working here you get this console right and it gives you a chat option where you can start interacting so once you log in it will ask you whether you want to connect the data or not i will do it later and you see the bunch of options here right the calendar the confluence the drive the jira truly enterprise class connectors are there so that you don't have to look further or so this is one of the aspects and the best part is about the pre-built agents right so here you can get started for example you want to uh, you are expanding your company or consultancy service or something else into a unknown territory for example let's say you are a us based company and you want to get targeted in let's say asia pacific or europe you want to understand the compliance and governance challenges so the deep research will give you that capability and i have demonstrated that in of my earlier videos as well it's very simple give the prompt what you want in a plain simple language and get you started the other part is about i talked about was building agents right it gives you agent designer this is how it looks like uh, the deep research is the default agent which is there you will have notebook lm and everything and this is the agent which i built if i click edit here you will see it's very easy to define so you define what is the name of the agent what the agent should do and maybe give some prompt starter so that user can see how to get started so one thing to note here you will have to define the flow as it's a must have when you are defining the agents so i defined this flow what models to use and what should it do right for example in this case in my case it was a google career section agent where i have defined an agent to search all the options of career profiles available across google worldwide and click this it opens me a chat window and let me say please suggest me all the open positions for software engineers in mountain view so it will try to think as i said it's a, a thinking and reasoning model it's not like uh the the generation one of large language models where it gives straight away answer this model thinks through and gets the relevant data on based on the query or, and the context of the query rather to get you the answer right so you see you have got all the details here and you should see also citation this is more important right you should see citation where it is coming from and you can pick and choose for example let me try to play trick the agent and say please suggest me would open positions in sales in Amazon and meanwhile I have instructed the agent to only go through and give me relevant opportunities on Google and Google career site so you can see I can only provide information about careers in Google my purpose is to Google career opportunity and I don't have information about open positions at any other company so you can restrict the agent and say what exactly it needs to do right so that's how simple it is you can upload files from different options and one of the options I want to show is once you create these agents, right, it will show as a, as a window here in the bottom in the recents in the chat options. And you can share this with your team members or colleague and create a link and get started. So it gives you a single unified view how to get started on Gemini Enterprise. And you can share it from here. And there are a bunch of centrics where you can define connectors, give some personalization. And all those options are there. You can see, you can define. Just one thing to note at this point of time, since it's the agentic solution, you must be expecting the tool to do autonomous action on behalf of the user, right? Once the instruction has been set up here. So currently it supports calendar and uh, Gmails as an action, as a next step. So if you're looking beyond that, the tool will evolve probably, I think, as the days go by and will support a bunch of options where it can be a single go to platform. So this was a quick video on gemini business and although the name says business it doesn't mean it is for business it can be also for small startups individuals who wants to get the experience of agentic ai offerings from google cloud which got rebranded re and restructuring with gemini enterprise and it is your go-to platform and one thing before i leave i will show you something here as i promised the editions right i'll pin that in the description it has a bunch of options. I was talking about Gemini business, the starter pack, $25 per user per month. There are a bunch of other options as well, right? If you're a large scale, you probably might end up having Gemini Enterprise Plus or something like that, right? So that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Stay tuned for more such updates. 
on latest technologies on generative AI and AI. Thank you.